more to help support parents who've been through a miscarriage. New figures suggest the cost to society from subsequent mental health issues is more than £400 million. Pounds. Well, let's talk to a legal expert and podcast host, Hattie Savari. Uh, and I know, Hattie, you went through a, a miscarriage yourself, so you have a, a, a real understanding of, of, of how this all feels. I mean, in, in terms of legal provision for someone who's had a miscarriage, what is there at the moment? I mean, whilst some employers could consider giving compassionate leave to women who have suffered a miscarriage, unfortunately, there are no legal provisions in our current employment laws for paid leave for work when a miscarriage has been suffered. Um, and even though countries like New Zealand became only the second country uh, in March this year to India, actually, to introduce bereavement leave, um, meaning that a mother is entitled to maternity leave and associated pay. We don't have anything in our laws at the moment that actually allow a woman or her partner to take any paid leave um, after suffering a very unfortunate event of a miscarriage. Which, which means we need to ask really just how it does affect people having a miscarriage, whether it's one or, or we know some people you know, tragically have several. What does it do to you mentally? I mean, mentally and physically, it's a very, very tough time for a woman to go through. Some women obviously deal with these situations easier than others, but you do need time to recover both physically and mentally uh, from such a, uh, an event. And, you know, we shouldn't also forget that partners and spouses who may need some also, you know, may need some time off as well to grieve and support the, the, the woman that's had their partner who's had the miscarriage. Um, so it, it is a very tragic event in somebody's life. And as I said, some people get over these things a little bit quicker than others, but um, you do need time to recover and to, to heal, if you like. Are you, yeah, well, I guess you're not surprised then at this figure of four, I think it's 421 million pounds lost from people not working because of, of some of the physical and mental strains that they've gone through. I mean. Presumably that could, if there was some provision in place, that could in part be tackled. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the Miscarriages Association reports that more than one in five pregnancies end in miscarriage in the UK, um, which amounts to around a quarter of a million women who go through miscarriage each year. And, and these are big numbers. So I think it's time that our laws did make provisions for employers to be able to give paid leave to women and their spouses and, and therefore be able to take control of what it costs um, commerce, if you like, and corporates uh, in a different type of way. Okay, Hattie, good to talk to you.